let me be the first to wish you a happy, healthy and prosperous new year. I hope you had fun bringing in the bells and I hope the head isn't too heavy this morning. There's nothing like the start of a new year to help you focus and reevaluate your goals and aims. I've worked out the 20 resolutions that every entrepreneur should stick to. I certainly will, just as soon as I've had my traditional Scottish New Year's Day meal. Steak pie, of course. One, have a clear out, tidy desk, tidy mind. Get rid of all the rubbish, old files, ancient magazines and newspapers that clutter up your office space and either clean it yourself or pay a company to do it. And you'll be amazed at the boost you get. It's such a simple resolution, but very effective. Two, update your website. When did you launch your website? Has it been overhauled recently? It's the sort of job we put off doing because there is never enough time. Yet, if done properly, it could get your company a whole new customer base. Find a designer you like, who understands your message, and let them come up with some great ideas. Three, update your social media. Defunct LinkedIn account, Twitter account that was set up in 2011 and hasn't been looked at since, a blog that you started but never got right to writing now. Well, what are you waiting for? We're so lucky to live in the social media age. It's never been easier to promote our business and ourselves. If you don't have time to do it, pay someone else. Just make sure you are harnessing the power of mass communications that's at your fingertips. Four, embrace new tech. Are there new apps or programs that can simplify your accounts, databases, HR, or how you manage your day-to-day -day work? Now is the time to bite the bullet and invest. You won't believe you didn't do it earlier. Five, trust your accountant. Don't underestimate the importance of a good accountant. Make sure you're working with someone you trust who has your company's best interests at heart. Don't be afraid to meet a few people before deciding on whom to go with. When you do employ one, ensure you meet regularly. Recommendations count for a lot as well. Ask your entrepreneur pals if they can vouch for anyone. Six, get to grip with finances. Just because you have an accountant doesn't mean you shouldn't know the basics. Set aside some time to educate yourself on expected growth and revenue, expenses, budgets and debt. Keep on top of it. The easiest way of educating yourself surely has to be to subscribe to my YouTube channel. 7. Work on your leadership skills. No matter how long you've been a boss, there's always more to learn. Use strategic management to know when to boost morale, delegate and think outside the box. Your employees look up to you. Make sure you earn their respect and use a common sense approach to human resource management. 8. Finish unfinished projects. Have you a pile of half done tasks that you need to get stuck into and stop putting it off and do it? Maybe you pen some business ideas and then stuff them in the bottom drawer. Dig them out and have a rethink. Are any of them viable? 9. Have empathy. Your PA has asked for a couple of hours off one afternoon to see her child in his school show. Don't make her feel bad about asking. She'll never get these precious moments again. Treating your staff well and empathising with their needs breeds loyalty and they will, in return, go the extra mile for you. 10. Leave the office. Yes, I know. When you're an entrepreneur, you live and breathe work. Early morning starts and late finishes are the norm. But are you actually achieving anything that you couldn't do if you left earlier? Resolve to work smarter, not harder. It'll make a huge difference in your life. 11. See your friends and family. Have you got kids? Are you married? Focus on them. Don't let them feel second best to your work. If you don't have kids or a spouse, I'm positive there will be people in your life that you wish to see more often. Make 2020 the year that you'll make the effort to see them. 12. Expand your network. Just as you should resolve to see more of your friends and family, you should also make more of an effort with your business network. Are there old contacts you could get back in touch with? Former colleagues, investors or mentors perhaps? Pick up the phone and send an email. You never know if they'll need your help or when you'll need theirs. 13. Improve your health. There's no doubt that exercise benefits your mind. Your head feels clearer, you sleep better, and you're more likely to make healthy eating choices if you keep fit. I'm not expecting you to go from couch potato to running a marathon, but if you find an exercise or gym you enjoy, you'll start to feel amazing. Set realistic goals and you become more likely to stick to them. 14. Focus on your customers. January is a fantastic time to analyse and evaluate your customer base. 
Who have you lost over the last year and who have you gained? What lessons can you learn? What are you buying? How much are they spending? Identify trends and adjust your plan accordingly. 15. Hire the right people. Entrepreneurs need to be smart when they recruit. Getting the right people and a good fit for your firm will bring out the best in everyone. 16. Tune into current events. Make it your business to know what's going on. We all know that the world is a far smaller place these days, and you, as an entrepreneur, need to be able to chat confidently about US politics as well as matters closer to home. It'll give you a better understanding about global markets, and you'll always be able to start a conversation. 17. Meet your deadlines. It's common to set deadlines that are too short, and that doesn't do anyone any favours. The project will be rushed and won't be done to the best of you or your employee's ability. Negotiate with clients a slightly longer deadline that's more realistic. You're better being honest than trying to cram it all in as the deadline sails past. 18. Find the right investor. Are you pitching for more investment? Resolve to accept only what's right for you and your company. Do you respect the investor? Do you like their mindset? Do you trust them? 19. Explore the world. I know you're an entrepreneur and you don't have a chance to take off and go travelling. Trust me, you need to put this on your to-do list. A long weekend away, a couple of times a year, or a week's holiday in spring and autumn will do you the world of good. A break will recharge and rejuvenate you and leave you raring to go. 20. Remember why you're an entrepreneur. Here's a good resolution. Why do you do this and how fortunate you are to be in this position? Sure, it's hard when times are tough, but there's always more highs than lows. Embrace being an entrepreneur. Here's to a great 2020 and there's one last resolution you need to make. Remember to subscribe to my free YouTube channel of course. Right, let's get to work.